okay, so we fast forward two years past that last scene. It's act four of the play now. And, um, and uh, they've all gone, and we're still at the estate. Uh, Arkadna has left, and, and um, Treplev is still here. So we're gonna, actors change parts. Sometimes men play women, just so you know that women play men. Figure that out. So Treplev is now uh, at home two years after the incident, and the girl that he loved, Nina, has gone away to join the theater. And she's been gone for two years. Who's there? This one doesn't have a lot. But I'll put a chair in. Don't worry. No one will come in. Let me look at you. It's nice and warm here. This used to be the drawing room. Yes. Have I changed much? Yes. You look thinner, and your eyes seem larger. Mm -hmm. Oh, Nina. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so strange to be looking at you. Why haven't you come sooner? Why wouldn't you let me see you? I know you've been at the inn for almost a week. I've gone every day, several times a day. I stood at your window like a beggar. I was afraid you hated me. Every night I dream that you look at me and don't recognize me. If only you knew. Ever since I've been back, I've been going for walks by the lake. I've been by your house lots of times, but I, I couldn't bring myself to go in. Shall we sit down? Let's sit down. Talk and talk. Nice and warm here. Very cozy. Do you hear the wind? There's a passage in Dergania. Lucky the man with the roof over his head in summer to be warm on a night like this. And the seagull. <laughs> no, that's wrong. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yes, Dergania. May God help the poor homeless wanderer. Never mind. Oh, Nina, you're crying again. Nina. It's all right. It does me good. I hadn't cried in two years. I went out to the garden late last night to see if our stage was still there, and there it stood. I cried for the first time in two years, and it was such a relief. Everything seemed to feel it. I'm not crying anymore. So you're a writer now. Yeah. You're a writer and I'm an actress. We both got caught up in this hectic world. I used to be happy as a child and woke up singing in the morning. I was in love with you. I dreamed about being famous. But now, I have to go to Yellowstone tomorrow morning. Third class along with the peasants. And in Yellowstone I'll have to fight off the educated shopkeepers with their declarations of love. It's a rough life. Why Yellowstone? I didn't look there all winter. I'd better go. Nina, I did hate you. I spit on your memory. I tore your letters and photographs to shreds. But the whole time I knew I was yours forever. I don't have the strength to stop loving you, Nina. Ever since you left and they started publishing my work, life has been intolerable to me. I can't stand it. I don't feel young anymore. I feel like I'm already 90 years old. <laughs> but I've been calling you. I would kiss the ground you walk on. And wherever I look and see your face, the gentle smile that brightened up the best years of my life. Why does he say this? Why? I'm all alone. I haven't the warmth of anyone's devotion. I feel cold as in a vault. And all I write is so dry and stale and dismal. Stay with me. Or let me go with you. For God's sake, why, Nina? Be careful to set the date. Don't show me out another way. Give me some water.
Where are you going now? Back to town. Is Miss Irina here? Yes. Uncle took horse on Thursday, so we telegraphed for her. Why did you say you'd kiss the ground I'd walk on? I'm not fit to live. I'm so tired. I need a rest. A rest. I need a sequel. No, 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 that's, that's wrong. I'm an actress. Yes, yes that's it. <laughs> on the stage and then I'm up there. I feel beautiful. Now ever since I've been back I've been walking all over everywhere. I walk thinking, thinking and feeling. Every day I feel my strength coming back to me, my spirit. I understand now, Constantine. I know that in our business, whether I'm up on the stage or you're here writing, that the most important thing isn't fame or glory or Anything that I dreamed about. The ability to survive, to carry your cross and to keep moving and to have faith. I have faith now and it doesn't hurt me so much anymore. And when I think about my vocation, I'm not afraid of life. You found your way to keep going. You know what to do. All I can do is obsess over these daydreams, these images. I don't know what I'm doing, I don't know who it's for. I don't have any faith in what I'm doing with my life. Shh. Oh, goodbye. Come and see me while I'm a great actress, promise. Now, it's getting late. I can hardly stand. I'm so exhausted and hungry. I'll get you something to eat. No, no. Don't chew me out. I know the way. My carriage is quite near. Did she? Oh well, it doesn't matter. When you see Dragoran, don't tell him anything. I love him still. I love him more than I did before. Plot for a short story. I love him passionately, insanely, I love him. You were happy back then, weren't you, Constantine? Remember? Everything was clear and warm and happy. Life was simple, full of feelings. Feelings that were like soft, elegant little flowers, remember? Men, lions, eagles, and partridges. Spiders, horned deer, geese, silent fishes, denizens of the deep, starfishes and creatures invisible. That is all life, all life, all life has completed its melancholy cycle and died. For thousands of centuries, the earth has borne no living creature, and in vain does that poor moon light her lamp. No longer do cranes awake and call in the meadows. No may beetles can be heard in the lime groves. It'll be a pity if someone sees her in the garden. It might upset Mama. <laughs> 